Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Well, in this episode, the DJI Air 2S, which is in my little case here, and you're probably wondering why the heck does he have this case? Well, you probably saw the title, so let me show you what's next. Next is I take this hat, which was sent to me by Master Air Screw. Can I cannot even fit it on my head? And uh, I put that on because I want to show you this right here. These are the Air 2S Stealth Props for the DJI Air 2S. You can also use them for the DJI Mavic Air 2. So you can see I have the blue color, the orange color, and the black color. Now, if you've never heard of the company Master Air Screw, well, then you're probably new to the RC hobby because they've been around longer than I've probably been on the planet, making propellers for all sorts of planes and whatever. They got into drones a while ago, and then they got into DJI drones, and they've been going kind of crazy making these stealth props. So their props are considered aftermarket props that you add, and they're supposed to be a step up from what you get from DJI. So here I printed off what they have on their website to tell you what these props can do because my little goldfish brain will forget. So here we go. It says, if you use these props, you will get 4% longer flight time compared to the DJI props. If you use these props, your drone will be quieter. And then you're probably saying, really? That's something I could get into. Well, the quietness is more like a pitch sound. So instead of being high pitched, it's a lower pitch. Uh, well, here, check this out. Here's my test in the house. Check it out. Another benefit is it says you can get up to two miles per hour additional top speed with these props. Apparently they weigh less. They're 7% lighter than the DJI props. So that's less weight on your motors, your drone. You also get increased power reserve in sport mode and flying at high altitudes. And finally, they say they are improved safety because of the bright colors. So I've never opened these boxes. As a matter of fact, I should have brought a knife to cut them open. So uh, I'm gonna open a set here. Let's try on, I'll, well, I'm going to use the blue set because I always like blue. Okay, I'll use the orange set. So since I didn't bring a knife, I'm just tearing into the box. And this is not pretty at all. So inside, what do you get? I see some paper. You get instruction, safety. You get some stickers. And you get this beautiful white bag here. That's it. You get a carry bag that says Master Air Screw. And in here would be your awesome stealth props. In the bag, there's two sleeves built in. So on one side, you have props for certain motors and on the other side props for the other motor so here i'll just pull it out and you can see these props here i can get it to focus they have white notches at the top and this one here has nothing so you can you can you can figure out which motors you would stick these on all right so take our drone out pull the arms out and we're going to put our props on so the current props have to come off and they're just you know the normal push in pull out Take all those off. So let me show you the props side by side. You probably can't see much of a difference here, but uh, you can see the stealth props are a little bit thinner, like they've gone on a diet compared to the DJI props, which are thicker. A little flexible at the end on the DJI ones, but not flexible all the way through. And on the stealth props, very flexible at the end and more flexible all the way through, but they do get thick right about here. Here we have the props side by side. It's probably quite difficult to see the comparison in this view, but uh, yeah, they are slightly different. You can see they snap on, they're 100% compatible. There we are, props are on all four motors, so we are ready for a flight. All right, so the test right now is just to see if I notice a difference. I've flown so many master air screw props on drones that I really have difficulty telling the difference, and I don't think it's gonna be any different now, so I'll start her up. Here we go. So there's the sound of the props. You can still hear my voice, I'll get close. And I'm, I'm leaning over it. Can you hear the props? It's pretty quiet, I will, I will admit that. I'll bring it up and hover it and get close to it again. It is very quiet. So hang on, let me bring it up. Here, I got to stand on the side. I've got the obstacle avoidance sensors going beeping, but look at how close I am. I am very close to this. The mic is right here. Can you hear the props? They're very, very low notes. Here, I'll walk around. And just to show you the color of the orange props that I stuck on, here is my GoPro filming. Uh, so you can see what it looks like. I'll get underneath as well. I can't really see because the sun's going down, but yeah. So there we have the props. I'll go around, get different lighting. So 
So the only thing I could say right now is it's very, very quiet. Um, let's uh, go forward and see what we can see here. Actually, let me take it up and spin it around. I'll put it in sport mode, see how it handles. Okay, it's in sport mode now, nobody's there. Coming back to me in sport mode. I'll stop it. There we go. Do some little circles here. Got some nice banking going on. Seems to cut through the air, no problem. So pretty good, and that's all in sport mode. Uh, let's do this. Let's uh, take it up, and I'll just take it away into the sun. Full speed forward. In sport mode. And uh, I can't see anything back on my smart controller here. The display looks good. Seems to be working A-OK. -okay. There's some people out in the field, so I'm going to just turn and bypass them. And come back over the school. I'm gonna whip it around. I'm taking a corner here. This is all sport mode, so it's going crazy fast. Over the school, and then back to me. All right, so let's bring it down, bring it down, bring it down, bring it down, bring it over here and plop it down for a landing. So all in all, guys, I, I can't tell much of a difference. All I'll say is, I'll just get closer, I'll let that shut off. All I'll say is it, uh, it seems very quiet and um, very responsive. Yeah. So there is not much more I can say about these props. You know, you put them on, you shouldn't see any less performance. Matter of fact, you should see just a little bit uh, slighter, better performance. That's basically it. These props are not super inexpensive. Uh, so you pay for the quality and if you have a company like Master Airscrew and all they do is make props and eh, they got to make money to stay in business so their props are sort of a premium. You can always tell people that have Master Airscrew props on DJI drones because they will be very colorful and when you get up close they have a very glistening shiny look to them. All right guys links are below go check out Master Airscrew website read about uh, where they started their business and how long they've been in business and uh, check them out for the DJI Air 2S and as it says right on the front they also work with the DJI Air 2. So with that said if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and I will catch you again in future videos with many more drone reviews. Take care!